G'day guys. Today I've got a brand new Baccarat strategy for you. Now this is a strategy that's got enormous potential. It only requires you to start with the minimum amount of bets, but then when you do start to win, you increase the bet size and then start to win even more. Before I show you guys this strategy in action, I'm gonna give you guys all the rules and a complete guide on how you can use it for yourself. That way if you wanna jump straight into a game of Baccarat right now, you can just watch the rules and start using the strategy. This is a strategy that's entirely reliant on streaks forming within the board. Now anytime that there is a streak of two or more, you are guaranteed to make a profit with this strategy. So the way that betting works is we're always going to place our bets on the exact same result as the last game. So if the last game the player won, then we'll place our next bet on the player as well. Now if while we play we manage to come across a really choppy shoe where we manage to lose four times in a row, then we're going to just sit the rest of that shoe out and keep betting after the next shuffle. Now the only caveat to this rule is if we're seeing a really choppy shoe and we see the pattern banker player player banker banker or player banker banker player player. In these scenarios we can see that a pattern of doubles is forming so instead of always betting on the same we swap to doubles mode where we bet the continuation of the pattern. So if it was player banker banker player player our next bet we would bet banker if that wins we bet banker again and then after that we bet player to keep that double streak going. Now this is actually a simplified version of one of my previous strategies called attack, defend and double. So if you're interested in the full details of that strategy, I'll leave a link down in the description below. So now we know how to bet. The next question is how much are we going to bet? For this, we're gonna use a four game betting progression that goes one, three, two, four. Now the rules of this progression are simple but effective. We're always going to start with a one unit bet. If this bet loses, then we place our next bet as one unit as well. It's only after a win that we're going to progress to the next stage where we would bet three units. This way, whenever we lose, we only run the risk of losing one unit in any single bet. Now, the goal is to complete the entire four number progression. If you reach the end or lose any bet along the way, then we're gonna restart from the first bet of one unit. What you'll notice is that there are essentially two types of bets within this progression. The first type I like to call the dangerous bets, as they're the only bets that you can possibly lose money on. For example, if we manage to win the first and second dangerous spins, we've won a total profit of four units. But if we lose the next two unit bet, then we will still walk away with a profit of two units for that progression. Now the last two bets are what I like to call the safe bets. After you've established a streak has begun, these are the bets that will really begin to bring home the coin. If you manage to win both of these bets, then we end up walking away with an additional six units of profit, which over doubles our existing profit. But if we lose either of these bets, then we're still going to walk away with a two unit profit no matter what. Hopefully with this strategy, you can sit out the shoes that are extremely choppy and then sit in when the streaks start forming and begin to win. Now you know how the basic strategy works, there is an additional rule set that I do like to play by. Now using this variation of the strategy, the risk of losing our profit increases, but so does the chances of winning big. And if we're clever about how we play, we can hopefully only risk our existing winnings. Now, say you begun a game with 100 units and your base bet was 10 units. Now on each bet, you only ever risk 10 10 units, so you can afford 10 losses in a row before going bankrupt. The goal is to play for a while and hopefully build up your bankroll to say 180 units. And now that you have a total of 80 units of profit, you can increase your base bet to a $20 bet. Now this would allow you to play four games with the increased bet amount and potentially doubling your winnings whilst not risking any of your original bankroll. Now this is a bit of a personal preference, but I like to try and win two progressions and then after that increase my bet size by about 50 to 100%. But before I go into demonstrating it, there's something I need to make absolutely clear. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not promote nor advocate any real money gambling or betting. It is important to know that while these strategies can help increase your odds, at the end of the day, there's no strategy or system that will beat the house 100% of the time. Anyone that says they've invented such a strategy is either lying or trying to sell you something. The trick with all gambling is to play for a few games get lucky, and then cash out before the casinos can get even with you. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump straight into the game. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna jump straight into it. For me, I've got 100 bucks, so I'm gonna do a $10 as my one unit. We can see player was the last one to win, so I'm gonna place a one unit, so $10 bet on player. And hopefully, if we're lucky, 
we can have a look and we can see, you know, the history of this board. There has been a couple chops, there's been one tie, and there's also been a couple doubles. So that's not great. We get a 9 to a 4, that's what we needed. So we win that first progression. So now that we've won that first progression, what we're going to do is we're going to increase our bet to three units. So for me, that's $30. Now you can see down here, we've actually risked an extra unit on this bet. Now that's why I call these two bets the dangerous bets, because these are the ones that we can actually lose money on. So we cross our fingers and hope, and if we're lucky, come on, three to a, that's not great, to a zero, that's all right, we get a card each. Come on, come on. Two, five to a zero, that's what we need. So that's our dangerous bets done and dusted. Now we're into what I call the safe bets. So because we're decreasing our bet amount here, so you can see now I place a two unit, so $20 bet on the same, we've still, no matter what, we're walking away with a profit of 20 units. So this means we can play the next two games with just our profits and we're not actually risking any of our money. But if we manage to win these ones, these are the ones that'll really make us some money. So we have a two, that's not great. To the dealers too, so we get a card each. If we're lucky, we're beaten by one. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but that's okay because that's one of our safe bets. I can relax. We've still made $20 profit on that. So if we're lucky, this may be the start of a banker streak. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bet one unit, start of our progression on banker, and we're going to cross our fingers. Okay, three seconds. Come on. And we are going, let's go. 10 on banker. Let's start a streak. Zero, that's good. Two or three, we get a card each. We got the advantage here. Two, that's not great. That's all right, so that's one loss. If we do manage to come up to you know some set loss limit or four losses in a row, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit the rest of the shoe out. So I'm just gonna go again. We're gonna hope that maybe that was just an oddity and a player streak's going to continue. So I'm gonna put one unit, $10 on player, and we're just gonna go again, and hopefully the streak will start to develop. $10. Let's go. Seven. Two and one. Dealer gets card four. Beautiful. So there we go. We're now up. We've managed to win that $20 profit. We're now going to do our next dangerous bet, and we're going to actually put down 30. So we are going to eat a little bit into our bankroll here, but that's why I call them the dangerous bets, because this is where all the danger of the system is. If we lose these first two, so if we get doubles or a really choppy pattern, that's where we'll lose our money. Anything else, streaks of three or more, we're going to make money, and that's what this system relies on. One, that's not good, give us a low banker. Four, we're gonna get another card. Five to a seven, unfortunate. So that's our second loss, really. That's, we've, you can see we've lost, not really in a row, too many of these, but we've lost a few and we're starting to now eat back into our bankroll. So I'm gonna do one more on banker. And if this one loses, then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna sit out the rest of this shoe and I'll come back to you guys after it's finished. So. Here we go. Okay, she's putting in the card. That's that's the next shoe. That's where we'll be betting if we lose this one. So, okay, she put it in the wrong way. Classic. Come on. Hopefully that's a good sign for us. That's a good sign for us. Zero. To a nine, is it? No, to another zero. Fuck. Eight to a two. Ah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do one more hand, just because I'm 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 greedy, you know, and because I'm filming and because I don't wanna make you guys miss out. Maybe this is gonna be the start of a player streak. We can see we've had 12 blank 12 bankers, 11 pay players, it's been pretty even, pretty choppy so far. So cross our fingers, ten dollars down. Four to a seven, we get another card zero that's that's enough for me i'm going to sit the rest of this shoe out i'll come back to you guys in a couple hands and we'll see how we do all right it's not quite a shoe change but we've got a different dealer so i'm going to start again maybe this this guy is what we need maybe he's our good luck charm so i'm just going to start betting the same we're going to go on player 
He starts with a one, so that's that's not good for a good luck charm. Against the bank of seven. Give us one more. Six. I'm not sure if I like this guy. So we're we're of course gonna do one more bet. Do it again. Hopefully we can hopefully this is the start of a banker streak. Don't do me like this, man. Maybe I should have just waited the shoe. He's even got his AirPod in. Oh no, no he doesn't. That's just the reflection on his ears. His ears are very glossy. I thought they were AirPods. <laughs> Looks like he applied a lot of hairspray this morning, but you know, each to their own, each to their own. Four, that's okay. To a four, we get a card each. Nine, that gives them a three. The banker keeps them four. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Maybe he is my good luck charm. Maybe maybe I should have insulted his AirPod ears. I mean, not, not that there's wrong with anything air with not that there's anything wrong with AirPods or ears, that is. Alright, come on. Dirty on banker. This is our dangerous bet. We're really starting to get down here. We're into our last bit of bankroll. So if we don't manage to win this, we're really starting to get into trouble. Six, that's not amazing. Two of bankers. Three. We get one more. 10 bastard that's all right i i have full faith i have full faith and i'm going to stick with it until the very end we're going to keep going now we're on player 10 if this is a player i might go into doubles mode we might start swapping around just because this board has been so choppy lately but if it's been choppy then surely that means a streak has to be coming here we go player 10 dollars on player One, two, five, we get a card each. Oh, come on. We just can't win. We just can't win. That's all right. We're going to go banker. There's got to be a streak coming. There has to be. I believe in you. I believe in you, my friend, my dealer friend. Stroke those cards. Come on, give us something good. Zero. Four. Seven. What is going on? No. You're joking. You're joking. This is going to bankrupt us. It's all going to come down to this very last one. We can't really afford to do another one because even if we win this one, we're gonna have to place another 10 for our second but dangerous bet. So we just cross our fingers. This is the one, this is the one that it all comes down to. Come on, my friend. Nine. Two. Deal is three. Or zero, sorry. I thought that was a nine. Woo, okay. That's one down. It's everything on this last one. We can't even make the 50 cent bet. So we're going 29 because, you know, unfortunately we can't make that $1. Come on, my friend. Come on, my friend. Nine. Yes. To a six. Yes. That's what we need. That's what we need. Boom. Two units back on player. Now we're back in the game. You can see all we need, if we win one progression out of this 10, we're going to manage to make enough money to get back to our original bankroll. So here we go. Come on. Three, that's not great. One, I'll take that. Six, come on, give him a ten. Ten, yeah! There we go. Beautiful. Now, double or nothing. 40 on the player. And this is the end of the shoe. Come on. Come on. Could have been the best decision I ever made to sit this shoe in. $40 down. Big money. 
five to a dealer's through four, seven, ten, yeah, baby, woohoo, that's what we needed, look at that, look at that, <clears throat> we're up, $18 up, next shoe, uh, I could keep playing guys, but I think you guys see that how this system works now, I could walk away with this $18, or I could afford to go again, now, unfortunately I got really lucky during the, fi during the filming of this, and that, that typically is what happens whenever I try and film something, I always end up, you know, getting bad spins, or always getting the worst, worst luck while filming, but, I guess that's the luck of the camera, but, I'm gonna leave it there for you guys because I don't wanna keep you guys here all day. I want you guys to be able to actually go out and try it yourself. $18 profit, you gotta be happy with that. If you're walking away with extra money, then you're a winner in my book, so. Now, if you're gonna play online Baccarat at any online casino, then there's absolutely something you need to know before you do. Most of these casinos will offer you some kind of reward or bonus for signing up with them. Now, this reward can actually work in your favor if you're choosing to play slot machines. You see, what most people don't know is that in order for you to actually withdraw any of the money from the casinos that have given you a bonus, they'll require that you bet 30 to 40 times the total amount given out as a bonus. What's even worse is that when you pay attention and read the fine print, you'll notice that not even every bet counts towards this amount. It is only slot machines that will count 100% of the bet, and games like Baccarat or Roulette with a low house edge only give 5 to 10% of their actual value. If you're only looking to play Baccarat, then the simple way to avoid this is make sure that you don't accept any bonuses when you do deposit. That way, if you do win, you'll be able to withdraw all of your winnings instantly. If you are interested in how you can actually turn these casino bonuses into your favor, then I'll leave a link to a video below that gives a full mathematical breakdown of how you can meet your wager requirements and still walk away with a little bit extra. Now, if you do want to play online Baccarat, then I'll leave some links in the descriptions to the casinos that I've used in the past. All of these casinos should be available in most places in the world, and they all feature online Baccarat games that you can play. In my experience, these casinos have definitely been the best that I've used and their support's been really good anytime I've had to contact them. With that being said, if you're in a country like Australia or any other country where the live gambling's restricted, then there's a simple way that you can still play. What you're going to need to do is install a VPN that'll essentially make the website think that you're accessing it from a different country. Personally, I use Proton VPN, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. They do have a free version and that's the one I'd recommend, but Proton VPN is the only ones that I've seen that actually allow you to select what country you want to connect from. After you've downloaded Proton VPN, install it on your computer. Once this is done, you'll get a window that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press the button in the top left that says Quick Connect. Now what we're looking for is to hopefully connect to a server that is located in Japan. Now if you connect to another server from a different region, then all you've got to do is click the change server button. Hopefully when it reconnects, you'll have reconnected to a server in Japan, and if not, then you'll just wait a minute and then just try again. Alternatively, if you don't like waiting and hoping that you connect to the right server, you can just pay for Proton VPN and it's like four bucks a month. That way you can skip the whole hassle and connect directly to the country that you want. Now, if you're gonna do a bit of online gambling, then this is an investment that I think that's highly worth it. Not only will it protect your data and keep your information secure, it'll allow you to access any casino from all over the world with no local geo restrictions. But with all that said, that's all that I've got for you guys. If you did enjoy the video please make sure you like and subscribe we're nearly at three and a half thousand subscribers and the, the growth has utterly been mind-blowing and I want to thank you guys each and every one of you that subscribed liked and commented it really does mean the world to me but if you choose to try this strategy out please let me know how it goes in a comment down below and hopefully with a bit of luck you'll be able to walk out as a winner cheers guys